In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for BCL3. This is boron trichloride. So the first thing we need to do when we're looking at the molecular geometry, we need to have a Lewis structure. If you need help, there's a link in the description how to draw the Lewis structure for BCL3. For the molecular geometry, we can imagine we have our central boron here, these three chlorine atoms around it, and they're pushing away from each other as far as they can. And when they do that, you can kind of visualize that they'll have this molecular geometry, certain shape. Let's look at that. So the purple, that's the central boron. Let's add three chlorine atoms. One, two, they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. We add the third one, three. So this is the molecular geometry here, which is trigonal planar. You can see it's all in a plane, and we can see these bond angles here are 120 degrees between atoms. Note that boron's kind of special. It doesn't need an octet. It only needs six valence electrons, these six bonds. Each bond has two valence electrons. So it is an exception to the octet rule. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we have our boron in the center. It has these three single bonds, so six electrons, but that's okay. It's an exception. Each chlorine has an octet. They're spread out in that trigonal planar molecular geometry. So we have three things attached to the central boron with no lone pairs. So we could use this chart if we weren't able to visualize the molecular geometry. We have three things attached. That's the steric number, and we don't have any lone pairs. So that means we have the trigonal planar molecular geometry with a bond angle here of 120 degrees. You could also use the AXE notation if you've been asked to do that. So A, that's the central atom. That's the boron. X, those are the atoms attached to it. We had those three chlorine atoms. And there are no lone pairs. So sometimes you'll see the E written as zero. So if we look up AX3, that will give us this trigonal planar molecular geometry. Since there aren't any lone pairs, the electron geometry is also trigonal planar. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for BCL3, boron trichloride. Thanks for watching.